Good evening and welcome back to Beerich. Today I want to carry on where I left last time. One of the videos which has done really well in our channel is the one I did on Japan. When Elon Musk tweeted that Japan as a society would disappear. I wanted to update you on that. Last year, Japan lost a population that's equivalent to that of Luxembourg. It's expected by the time the decade is over, Japan would lose a population to the level of Cambodia. Japan is shrinking and shrinking very fast. One of the reasons for this is of course low birth rate and poor economic conditions for the last several decades. After the big boom of 1980-1989 bust, the Japanese economy has been in free fall and has never recovered. And once when a nation gets into deflationary mode, it is very difficult to pull it out. Japanese companies have now become cash rich. They have learned their lessons and they have become they have cash rich. They have become cash rich. They are not deploying the cash, nor are they giving dividends. Workers are being paid lesser and lesser and wages are not going up. All this has meant that inflation in Japan has not gone up in spite of abnormics and several other attempts. It is only now because of a commodity-based inflation that finally inflation reached 3%. But this is not going to solve the problem for Japan because it has already gone past the critical mass. What is now happening in Japan is there are two big cities, Osaka and Tokyo, and most of the young population want to live in Tokyo or in surrounding municipalities or Osaka or surrounding municipalities. These several small towns and villages of Japan have hollowed out. People have simply left. Legal heirs do not even want to claim the buildings that they own because simply there is no value. And because people have deserted these towns and villages, and gone to Tokyo or Osaka, what has now happened is that there is simply no business happening there. And because there is no lack of customers and no business, small business is shutting down, creating a ne negative feedback loop, leaving only old people to live where they are living and virtually no youngsters, with all youngsters living in Tokyo or Osaka. For the first time, an apartment in Osaka, central Tokyo, cost more than what it did in 1989, a very rare occurrence. Because this is because Tokyo is overcrowding, Osaka is overcrowding. The government of Japan has done several attempts to reverse this trend. It used to give 300,000 yen as incentive per child for parent to move out of Tokyo and live in one of these small municipalities. And the municipalities also give them a welcome party and several other benefits. In fact, the central government of Japan, the bank, the government of Japan is also giving further incentives to people who want to set up businesses outside Tokyo. All this is supposed to encourage more people to move out of Tokyo and Osaka into the small places where absolutely no one is there. But is this going to change things? No, it will not change things because Japan is rapidly aging. The fastest growing population segment in Japan is above 65. In fact, the number of babies in Japan have continuously declined. It was 811,000 last year and it is below 800,000 this year. This is a record which has not been seen for 125 years. So basically what Japan is now producing is the same amount of babies that were produced in 125 years ago. The government action is too little and too late for it to reverse it. More out of the box thinking has to be there if Japan has to survive as a society. Most people deny that there is a problem and think that advanced robotics would solve the problem till another generation comes to start and produce more kids. The obvious solution staring in front of Japan is to encourage large-scale immigration into Japan, which will balance out the hollowing of Tokyo, hollowing out of villages and towns outside of Tokyo and Osaka. But Japan is a xenophobic society which does not tolerate strangers. 
it's a homogeneous society where almost everybody looks alike and any stranger white or asian looks exactly different it is very difficult for him to assimilate into a closed japanese structure and that is why immigration is being frowned upon in japan even in spite of it reaching alarm alarmous alarming states so japan is desperately trying to reverse this demographic bust so that its economy can take off but this is a question of a case but whether it is a chicken first or, or whether the chicken came first or the egg because without economic activity there is no way that japan can enjoy a demographic boom but for activity to take place in japan where resources are very less and most of the commodities are imported you need more hands so the sooner japan releases this and releases more immigration releases more immigration visas allowing people to come in more easily and create and take jobs japan is not going to solve this problem as we go keep going along it looks clear that japan is the first nation that is going to disappear from the map of the world only because of its progress its progress made sure that women would marry later have lesser children and not worry about their offsprings now this has come back to bite japan to such an extent that they simply are not producing enough and labor costs are going up continuously in japan so and japan's great strength was its manufacturing unless the manufacturing is fully automated japan's competitive position in the world is also going to be badly affected but once a situation travels to a point where it cannot be reversed any amount of human effort cannot help it what japan needs today is a proper immigration policy which will allow foreigners to come and work and live in japan and intermingle with the japanese population unless that happens there is no hope for japan to recover from this precarious situation it finds itself in sending people on incentive is no solution the conditions being that they have to stay there for a period of 5 years otherwise the state would claw back the incentive provided this is as i said before too little too late or closing the stable door after the horse has bolted thank you for watching beeraj if you like this video kindly hit the like button share the subscribe button and turn on the bell notification if you do not turn on the bell notification you will not receive any notification every time we put out a video once again i thank you for your support for beeraj i hope and pray that you find it useful to share this content with your friends and relatives thank you for supporting beeraj i want to thank all of you for supporting our event in oman with great enthusiasm a lot of people turned up in oman and a place where i am i don't have much influence i wish to thank all of you for your support the next event is going to be in qatar doha the event is scheduled for the last week of january those who would like to meet me in person in qatar doha or come to our event in doha can send their request to the mail id given below or contact the whatsapp number flashing on the screen my team will respond to you see you in qatar in the last week of jan it's a great privilege and honor that so many of you in thousands have subscribed to my channel and have supported me i have written two books in english the alchemy of money and ordinary stocks extraordinary profits these books are published by us and are ready if you want to procure a copy send us a message to the whatsapp number given below and my team would respond to you if you want an amazon kindle copy you can click the link below finally those who wish to consult with me can send a mail to beerichenglish@gmail.com once again i thank you for your support If you like this video press the subscribe button of my channel hit the like button and turn on the bell notification